Alright, so this is problem 5. Problem 5 reads, find the critical numbers of this function, sine squared x minus cosine of x, on this domain from 0 to 2, 2 pi. Okay, real quick, remember to find critical numbers, we must equate the derivative, f prime, so the functions, the functions derivative, to 0. Once we do this, we'll find x values that will make the derivative equal to 0. These are our possible critical numbers. To determine if they're the actual critical numbers, we must equate, we must input those possible critical numbers back into the original function and see if they're defined. If they're defined, then there are critical point, or critical numbers. If they're not defined, they're not critical numbers. So I wrote that there. Let's go ahead and solve the problem then. So let's find f prime. F prime is then take the derivative of sine squared x, that's gonna be two, using the chain rule, two sine x times the derivative of sine cosine then the derivative of cosine is minus sine but minus times minus is plus sine all right let's go ahead we can go ahead and factor out the sine so f prime of x is equal to Now we need to equate this to zero, so set that equal to zero. Okay, so if this is equal to zero, then this is equal to zero, or this is equal to zero. So we're gonna find sine of x is equal to zero, and when two cosine x plus one is equal to zero. Okay, when is sine of x equal to zero? So that's when x is equal to zero, and when x is equal to pi. Those are the only two on that domain from zero to pi. We don't include two pi because two pi is not included. Okay, so here, go ahead and solve this. We get two cosine of x, move the one to the other side, negative one, divide both sides by two. Two's cancel, cosine of x, equals negative one half. So when is cosine of x is equal to negative one half? Well, definitely cosine is negative in the second and third quadrants. When is it one half? That's at pi over six. So then we have, sorry, that's at pi over three. So we have um, two pi over three. And we have four pi over three. positive one half, but we know it's negative in this quadrant, so this would be pi minus pi over three, that's going to give you um, two pi over three here, so be that. that'll be the whole thing, two, two pi over three, and also down here, so you want, so you want these two angles, so that's two pi over three, and that's four pi over three, so that's when it's negative, all right, so now, these are our, critical, our possible critical numbers. Are they defined for the original? Let's see, f of 0, sine of 0 is defined. That's 0, cosine of 0, that's defined, that's 1, perfect. What about pi? Sine of pi is 0, 0 squared is defined. Cosine of pi is defined. 2 pi over 3, sine of 2 pi over 3, and cosine of 2 pi over 3, that's fine. 4 pi over 3, that works, that's fine too. Therefore,